Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Here's the latest what's going on at Yellowstone. Yeah, we're looking at Old Faithful. The sun just came up maybe, oh, half an hour ago there. It's currently um, 7.56 a.m. as I'm making this video there at the park. You yeah, waiting for Old Faithful to go off. It went off earlier, but it was really dark when it did. Uh, USGS is reporting two earthquakes for today. Um, a magnitude 2.9 and a magnitude 2.4 up there along um, the uh, Trans Chalice Fault Zone. Um, both of them they have listed for Stanley, Idaho. Going to Google Earth, here's um, Loon Creek. And if you look over here to the east, yeah, there's some old uh, lava deposits. Heaven help us when Yellowstone does decide to finally go off. So that's the location of the 2.4, which was 4.6 miles in depth. Let me bring it out. I got drawn in red, the Trans Chalice Fault Zone. Let's see, right there. Can you see that? That earthquake was at 6.57 a.m. local time there at the park. Then before this earthquake, there was a magnitude 2.9 at 4.09 a.m. also there at the park. Okay, it looks like it's at the bottom of, um, yeah, or on the side of the hill. Can you see it as it tilts? So I downloaded four different monitors. The one on the far left, that is Borehole 950. That's close to the Madison River area. The next one to it which would be Holmes Hill. You can see the earthquakes shows up on both. Um, Little West Thumb, nope, it doesn't show up. But it does show up on Maple Creek. Yeah, it really stirred up the caldera there. And it comes in. Yeah, I, I did it. Um comes in as a magnitude 2.45 so um, they're not fudging about that earthquake then the other one let's see is that it the 2.9 at 1109 Universal it is marked in red yep I had a double check okay so I get a magnitude 2.92 I don't know if you can see it at the bottom there so they didn't fudge about that one either. That's good. This earthquake at 1110, it looks like it's actually two earthquakes. You can see it there and there. They're not reporting that. There's its seismic signature. I'll make it bigger. So this one here is volcanic tremors where we got magma on the move. Yeah. And then there's the second one. Again, volcanic tremors. That's when the magma is coming up. So I'm going to divide it up into two different earthquakes because it does look like it's two earthquakes. Okay. And then I come up with a magnitude 2.19. So let's go over here to the second one. That rattled for quite a while. Yeah, look at the heat that came up. Okay. That comes in as a magnitude 3.07. Maybe whoever's working hasn't checked it out or he wants someone to double check his or her work. I don't know. But it's got a fairly long P wave, it looks like. Well, not real long, but short. So it might have been over there. Um, by Stanley, Idaho, also. Yeah. We got another small one in red. Let's take a look, uh, look at that. And, yeah. Okay. Boy, that really rattled for a while, didn't it? Look at that. Yeah, we'll have to go. I'm going to go there, but that's probably too short. That comes in as a magnitude 1.84. Okay. Then we got a little bit bigger one here. 
All right, let's go there. Take a look at the seismic signature. Same thing, it rattled for a while. Uh, 1.54 is probably much larger. Yeah, I would, yeah. I would have, you know, I would normally add it into there. So 1.83 at least, at least. These are um, long, long popping of the ground. Yeah, let's take a look at that. See, again, volcanic tremors. Not good, not good. Here's another one. Um, 1757, this would have been yesterday. 1057 a.m. yesterday, and yeah, it was just... Uh, let me pull this up so you can see it. Yeah, look at that. Yep. Yep. Boy, I, I don't know. This is not good. What's going on? Look at the heat that came up. Now, this map actually extends all the way down to um, Salt Lake or close to Salt Lake City. Yeah, and there's been 46 earthquakes within the last week. And then they are reporting um, in the last 24 hours, three. Well, they got another one on here. Let's see, 2.4, 2.9, and another 2.4. Okay, I did that one, and I did that one. 157. Someone evidently is there right now going through these earthquakes and reviewing them. So that would be that earthquake right there, 157. Yeah, let's go to the seismic signature. Yeah, I wonder who's working there. Again, volcanic tremors. Where did they say that occurred at? Stanley, Idaho, so we'll go to that location. Yeah, I wonder who's working there. All right, it would be right there. They're saying it's a magnitude um, 2.4. Okay, let's check the time. Okay, 157 in 4 seconds. 156 in 10 seconds. Oh, that's for 11.56. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let me go. Okay. All right. Do I have it? No, I don't have it. Okay. I better put that in there. Yeah, and you can see here we got lava. Um, yeah, hardened old formations of lava. Okay. Yeah, they're just jumping around and adding. Yeah, and you can see the red line here. Yeah. Someone's enthusiastic about their job today. That is good. Yeah, this is the Trans Chalice Fault Zone. Christmas Eve, so they're not being supervised and told to downgrade these earthquakes. Yeah. Yeah, there's some honest people in the world, but you can see these other ones too. Lots of them. Again, this is Maple Creek. Let me go over here to the borehole. Yeah, you can see them all here, the popping. That one's marked in red. and That one's in red. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff going on. More popping. What's the biggest one? Probably that one right there at 21.55. Okay, universal time. That would have been at 2.55 p.m. yesterday. That's the largest I see at the borehole. Now, remember, boreholes are deep wells under the ground, so they don't pick up the outside noise. Let's take a quick look at West Thumb. It looks like just basically slow-moving, quiet tremors. Yeah. Yeah. And that's from, from the fault movement because the ground's getting so brittle, brittle there at West Thumb, but I don't really see too much. Let's take a look at the spectrogram there. Yeah, I don't really see anything. Been like that for my last three reports. Okay, that's good. Just now getting some light on the top of the hills. Can you see that? Yeah, this here is the uh, Mallard Lake Resurgent Dome. Yeah, it actually kind of looks like it wraps around Old Faithful, don't it? 
Yeah. So I hope everyone has a very Merry Christmas tomorrow. And a lot of families do celebrate Christmas late on Christmas Eve. And if you do, I hope you enjoy your time with your friends and family. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye. Meow, 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 meow,